violent attack in northern Kosovo, strong condemnation of Serbian orchestrated terrorism. In the early hours of a recent morning, an armed attack in the northern region of Kosovo shocked the nation and the international community. The attack left one police officer dead while two others sustained injuries. The incident occurred in the village of Banski, near Leposavic, and is believed to have been orchestrated and executed by Serbian-backed criminal elements. The international community, including the United States and the European Union, has strongly condemned this act of violence and called for a swift response to bring the perpetrators to justice. The attack At approximately 2.34 a.m., Kosovo Police's Rapid Response Unit noticed two heavily armored trucks blocking the entrance to the village of Banski, displaying no license plates. As officers approached the scene, they were met with resistance and a hail of gunfire, including the use of grenades. Three police officers were taken hostage in the attack. In self-defense, police units engaged the attackers, successfully repelling the initial assault and creating conditions for reinforcements and the rescue of their colleagues. Casualties Regrettably, one police officer, Afrim Bunjaku, lost his life in the line of duty. Two other officers were injured, with one in critical condition, but thankfully their lives are no longer at risk. International Reactions The international community responded promptly and decisively to the attack. United States Ambassador Jeffrey Havnia condemned the violent and orchestrated attack, affirming Kosovo police's full legitimacy in upholding the rule of law. The U.S. called for the perpetrators to be captured, tried, and punished. European Union, the EU strongly condemned the attack, emphasizing the need for all facts to be established and the perpetrators to face justice. The EU expressed concern for the safety of innocent civilians in the vicinity of the Banjski Monastery and called for an immediate halt to hostilities. Italian Ambassador, Antonello de Roo, Italy's ambassador to Kosovo, condemned the attack and expressed condolences to the family of the slain officer. He demanded that those responsible for the violence be brought to justice. Kosovo government, Prime Minister Albin Kurti labelled the attack as terrorism and accused organised crime groups supported by Belgrade of assaulting the state. He reassured the public that the government and state institutions are ready and coordinated in their response to this threat. Conclusion The violent attack in northern Kosovo, orchestrated and executed by Serbian-backed criminal elements, is an egregious violation of the rule of law and an affront to the sovereignty of the Republic of Kosovo. The international community has unequivocally condemned these acts of terrorism and called for the swift apprehension and prosecution of the perpetrators. As Kosovo strives to maintain order and uphold its sovereignty in the face of such challenges, it is imperative that the world stands in solidarity with the nation and its people, ensuring that justice prevails and that peace and security are maintained in the region.